The best sporting moment I ever saw was Dawn Run's Gold Cup. That was the epitome of what Cheltenham is about. She looks like being beaten going over the last and she just won't give in. And then the reception she got because of John Joe, because of the Irishness, because of her, was, was an adulation that was quite extraordinary. I love that female novice hurdle that we, we won it with Brindisi Breeze in the past. And I think it's a, a race that for us, we are very good at training our stairs and if a three miles over hurdles means that if they can win that then they can go on and be a really decent chaser in the, in the future. The first horse I think of when I think of the Cheltenham Festival I think of Linwell who my father won the Gold Cup on in 1957. That must have been in black and white, you must be very old. <laughs> I wasn't born actually. Yeah. <laughs> well I only think of Brindisi Breeze because I only think about our own world. I won the Champion Hurdle on Granville again, it was a very special moment for me because um, Martin Pipe, it was, and he'd been so good to me, and uh, it was a first great championship race, really. The Queen Mother, the two-mile chase, I always think that's the very pure race, that's just speed and jumping ability, and to see Altio going around there will be, will be the highlight of my, my Cheltenham. The adulation the horse gets at coming into the winner's enclosure at Cheltenham can't be replicated elsewhere. On the day, we see the best novice hurdle in the British Isles. There's no argument about it. That's on the day was the best three mile two chaser. And I think that's what brings the uh, atmosphere to Cheltenham. You can pick up on the horses that want to win. You can pick up on the ones that want to be competitors and want to be better than the one that's next to them. And it's that spirit and that emotion that, that really gets you.